Well, good morning, Interbet fans, and welcome to the preview for the Vol. We're on the classic track Thursday, the 20th of June. Uh, 21 pentrometer, 5 meter false rail at the 600 meter mark, and um, some very big fields. Eight race program kicks off at 12.30 with a maiden plate fillies and mares over 1,200 meters. Well, the two first timers, 11 and 12, uh, from Azzi and Fitfuren outfits, are the favorites. Uh, apart from number nine, Crimson Cloud, which is a 13 to 10. The others are 4 to 1, 7 to 2. So watch the betting for them. See if there's any follow through. See what they look like going down. Not worth getting involved until you actually know all the information. And hopefully we'll get some comments from the track. Uh, Crimson Cloud is your favorite and very nice first run back. Um, uh, it wasn't bad at all. Got beaten half a length by a golden moment. But then if you look at Kalia... Kelly Carr, sorry, number two, Kelly Carr. That's drawn 12. That's not in its favor, uh, around the 1,200 meter here. And it was beaten two and a half lengths by um, Crimson Cloud on that occasion, but has the blinkers fitted. So, Alec, let's put the blinkers on this one. Uh, I'm interested uh, in uh, seeing how that one can get around, but that, that might be the big problem. Anyway, it looks like those horses will fight it out. Race two, maiden plate. 1,200 meters. Um, the Octagon's an interesting horse. The Gavao gets the ride for uh, the lead op operation. It was even money favorite the run before last. Then ran a shocker. It's come back from a rest and a gelding. Uh, might improve, but it looks like it's bred to go much further than that. So let's see where else there is some uh, information. Two king of numbers. Um, de definitely uh, improved form. Uh, maybe in Joburg, uh, certainly it ran pretty well in the Cape, and often these horses come up here and improve quite a lot. Look for Oklahoma Twister to improve, and Highfield Storm with a 4 kilogram claim to improve. The hot favourite is number 11, Skittles Skies, uh, Skittles Skies, sorry, Skittles Skies. Could be Skittles Skies, there you go. Um, Caden Brewer for Philip Lovachakny, drawn 13. That's got it all to do. Came from way back last time, so that was his first run, but sometimes they run on uh, adrenaline. I'm going to uh, watch and see how it goes. Race 3, mirror rated handicap, 1200 meters, three quarter contest. My top choice is uh, two rainbow reward. I think this horse is absolutely cherry for this race and looks like a perfect uh, ride for Gavin Lorena. He's taking the ride from Nathan Klink. That's a big, big jockey up. Six, um, Profit. Look for big improvement from this horse. This horse hasn't, um, has come down in the merit rating from 110 to 81. This looks like a perfect race for Profit. Muzieni gets aboard it. And then number five, Bob's your uncle. Comes back in trip. That might help him. Also, seven, Falskun. Drawn 12, though, that is not in its favour. Uh, super awesome's in the betting, but uh, course and distance, one from one, that's number three. And drawn one, that's got to help it. Race four. Divided fillies and mares, 1,000 metres. Uh, three cornered. Five, a woman of power is my top choice. Well drawn at two, or is it well drawn? That's 1,000 is down the straight. So... Very interesting to see where they run, but they haven't been showing any different um, uh, ability on the inside and the outside down the straight at the ball lately. Green Flash, I think, is a big runner, number seven. Uh, Zaki gets a ride for Brett Warren, 1,000 metres right up its alley. I think that will go really well. And then I thought 10 ride on. Uh, the 18 to 10 favourite with a four kilogram claim, got to go into the play as well. Um, others with a chance, Law of Success and um, exchange students. Race five, mirror rated handicap, fillies and mares, 1,000 metres, and I'm going strongly with number eight, Western Wishes. I think this is the right horse if uh, Kareem's got it right. Um, Kamala has ridden it three times for a win in two places, course and distance 2-1. Head of the speed rating, gets the blinkers, which it ran a really good race last time. This looks like the one they've all got to beat. Wait for green light, number seven. Drawn 17 with a four kilogram claim. Huge player in a race like this. Look for Jasari, Jasiri to improve, number one. I think that will go well too. And then there was one other that I thought, oh, Gal Golden Aspen, I think it's too short for this one. JC Buertis gets the ride on that one. Race six, uh, merit rated handicap. They go 1,800 meters. I made it two horses, 11, 
Uh, Miller Hughes, my top choice, Gavin Lorena for the Finfira outfit. I think they'll have a good day today. Third run after a race, two good runs, course of distance 2 1 1. And the other horse I liked here was number five, another level, Candace Dawson's runner. Chase rode it last time. Look for improvement. It ran really well last time. The others that come into play, obviously, Medler's Tart. You don't know how good this is. This come from PE. Um, Tony uh, Peter has won with, with one of these horses from PE already, so this might be able to improve. It's got quite a good profile. George Handel gets the blinkers. He might just be the joker in the pack. Race 7, Merrill rated 60, Phillies and Mares. They go 1,600 metres. Uh, I'm going strongly with 7 to Marco's Jet. I think this is the right horse. Um, Calvin Habib uh, for Wyshom. I think they're absolutely perfect. Everything's right for it. And these ideal worlds out of Jetmaster Mare, she'll keep improving. The interesting thing is that uh, Sneak Preview has got a merit rating of 73, so it gets two kilos from DeMarco's Jet, which seems very unfair. They've got such a similar profile. Uh, four, five runs, one win, and two places. Four runs, one win, and two places. And it's got to give two kilos of both three-year-olds. It doesn't really look right. And Springer f fits into the middle of these three. Anyway, they look like the three that will fight it out. Look for Regal's daughter to improve over the 1600. Race 8, merit rated handicap 80, 1400 meters, 1450, impossible race. Open highway, number one, drawn three, Pierce Stradham, course and distance one from one. The horse that will win it in a common canter if it's back to its best is Courageous Cat. This is a top, top horse. He really looked like something special in the making. Obviously um, plagued with problems. Has been gelded. He's got the class. He's drawn 13. The Gavea gets a leg up on him. Wow. The Gavea is not riding um, the horses that he could be riding in the race because there's a couple for Alec Laird. I thought they'd ride Golden Pavilion, but Schwartz gets the ride on that. So maybe uh, the jockey booking of the Gavea thinks that he's the, this is the best horse in the race. Give me a light's got a chance. Uh, Golden Pavilion uh, looks like he's got an outstanding chance, and I'm really surprised that the Gavea is not riding him. He's a stable rider. Vitellius, drawn third, 12, that's not going to help. Second run might improve. Laughing William, this is a player. Don't leave him out of anything. Drawn um, in six, and he's number 12 with Gavin Lorena aboard him. So, all in all, it's an incredibly uh, difficult race. Even Peace Treaty, which won a maiden last time, comes into it. Well, big days racing at Val. Hope you enjoy it. From me, James Goodman, and the Interbet team. Uh, have a good one.